This right here, bro. This shit all me, man. Look at this. Uh, 2019 Dodge Charger SXT. Only got 10,000 miles on it. And this bitch still look brand new, too, man. Look at this. It's crazy, bro. They detailed it for me and everything before I got it, bro. But just look. I show you all the little small details right now. But it's a little cup holder. You can, like, open it like this. And at night, the LED, it's got little rings in here. I don't know if you can see them right here. But they light up at night. If I can close it if I want to, get it out the way. I got my mask here. This the shifter. It's so nice. But it's so soft. I just can't. And I got this little cup holder thing right here. I can put some change or something. This thing right here is where I normally where I put my phone at. I got this little charger opener right here that I don't use. But it's just there. And then in here, I got all my other stuff. I already put my stuff in here that I may need. I got my glasses in case my contacts fall out. AirPods, chargers. I got some napkins for when we eat in the car and we need it. Deodorant and a um, flashlight and some chargers. And here's the little USB ports right here. And an aux. So if anybody gets in and they need to charge their phone or they want to play some music off the aux, they can. This car also does have Bluetooth, so I don't need the aux. But as you can see, it's a push start also. You can see right here. I don't know if y'all know how to work a um, push start, but just put your foot on the brake and then push that and the car turns on automatically. In the back seat, it is really clean, bro. I'm telling you, it's so nice in here, bro. And let me tell y'all, bro. Not only is the car like beautiful and just looks fantastic, bro. It smells so good in here, bro. Like, it smells so good, bro. It's like that new car smell just smells amazing. It's a steering wheel. It's so pretty, bro. Oh my god. Here's a view from the back. I just got in the back real quick. Here's a little door. It's kind of the same door as the front up there, so nothing special about that. But this kind of rise, this rises like kind of high. It's kind of like over my shoulder, if y'all can tell. But yeah. Um, moving on to the back of the car. This is the back of the seat right here. It has this little um, pouch right here. This actually is leather, which is one of the only things in the car that's leather besides like this right here. But it's a little leather pouch put stuff back there and it does have a little cup holder over here so people can put their drinks if they have extra um and then right here we have the fold down compartment um cup holder and i can put it back up if i wanted to like that just bring it back down if needed and it does go all the way down which is kind of cool kind of put your arm there and just chill moving to the little middle console it does have air vents back here so whoever's back here they won't be hot they can get some air if they need and I have two USB ports so they can charge their phone without having to use a cord all the way up there. So they have their own little charging thing back here. Back of the passenger seat is the same as the um, driver's seat. Got a little pouch right here. Same door, everything. And it's just all the seats are cloth, like this, ma this material, which is really good. I like it a lot. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do anything, bro, in life. You can do anything that you fully put your mind to, and I mean that wholeheartedly. No matter how big it is, how crazy it sounds, or no matter what anybody tell you, bro, no matter what it is, you can always do anything that you want. Do not settle for anything, man. If you want something, you go for it, and you don't stop until you get it, bro. Um, settling is never the way to go in life, you know. Make moves and make big ones, you know what I'm saying? I've been wanting this car for a long time, and I've been working towards it ever since. I wasn't going to give up because I knew what I wanted. I knew I wasn't going to give up till I got it. So I put in work. I went to work damn near every day. I've worked a lot to get this car. It wasn't easy. There was times where I was so stressed about this car, man. I cannot tell y'all. To having it now is such a big like weight off my shoulders. I was so stressed. Like I didn't know if I was really gonna get it. If it was even like like possible for me to get a car like this. And if y'all don't know, bro, I'm 17 years old, bro. 17, bro. And right now it's April. I turned 18 in May, bro. But I'm 17, bro. With a 2019 Dodge Charger SXT, bro. 10,000 miles on it, bro. $25,000 car, bro. All me, bro. All me. Also, want to give a big shout out to my parents because without them, I would never have been able to get this car. Because obviously, I'm 17 years old and I have no credit. And you can't really buy a car until you're 18, anyways. So, there's no possible way I could have got this car without my parents' help for like to co sign for me. So, I appreciate you guys so much. Um, thank you for making this possible for me. My parents have always been one to do what they can to, you know, make sure that I'm the happiest I can be. Um, so I really appreciate that and I love you guys so much. I worked really hard for this car and I saved up 
uh, a lot of money for it also. I do have to pay the monthly payments with the car. It's all me. Um, my parents are not paying it for me. I'm not one of them spoiled little kids. I'm paying it. I'm paying on this car monthly, and I'm working for the money that I am using. So don't ever get it twisted, bro. I'm not one of those. If y'all wanna know about all the little stuff, like my monthly payments and everything about the car and stuff, I will make a separate video about that. But you guys gotta let me know if you wanna see that, cause I don't know if you do. But if you guys are interested in my monthly payments, how much the car was, how much I put down, down payments, if y'all wanna know all of that information, I'll make a separate video for you guys. Just to help you guys out, just in case you guys were looking for a car too and wanted to know the information in the way that I did it. Um, this is a pre-owned car, but it's only owned by one other person. It was in no accidents, no issues whatsoever. The car is basically brand new still, bro. Got a lot of things planned for this car though. I am planning on getting the windows tinted. Um, when I got the car, it had a 5% tint on it, the darkest it could be, but they could not sell me the car because it would not pass inspection. So they couldn't sell it to me with the tint on it, so I had to take the tint off. But I am getting a tenant, and I'm thinking about getting maybe a little bit more than 5% because I don't want it to be like illegally too dark, but like it's gonna be dark enough on the side fours in the back. But yeah, I do plan on getting the windows tinted. I plan on, um, I was gonna get some subs in here, but believe it or not, this car hits, bro. Like, and I'm telling you, I can sling this mug too. It's a V6 engine, but let me tell you, bro, don't get it messed up because I can really sling this bitch if I wanted to. A little more talking, I'm gonna just let you guys see the outside and um, I'm gonna just let y'all see the car itself. So. 